What's going on, Magic the Gathering fans? Hope you're all having an absolutely wonderful weekend. We've got some absolutely gorgeous weather out here in Maryland. I don't know about you and where you are or what day of the year it is for you, but uh, it's uh, we're just getting into the month of May here pretty soon, and uh, we've just had the pre recent pre-release of Strixhaven School of Mages, um, and today we're going to just do a quick pack crack of all the different colleges that are available in that set. So we've got the Prismari release, the Silver Quill release, the Witherbloom release, the Quandrix re release, and the Lorehold re release. Um, and we're just going to kind of explore around, hopefully get some good cards in the Mystical Archives. And uh, if not, whatever, we're going to have some fun doing it. Um, so for a little bit of background about Pistol Pete's, um, this all started basically at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, my best friend actually, he got me into the game, just something to do. He, he, we could, you know, we could play online using our cards that we had at home. And, uh, actually I've got my wife hooked on the game now and, and some other friends as well. So, um, we've been having a blast playing magic throughout this pandemic and we definitely plan on, you know, only, only playing some more as, uh, hopefully things loosen up a bit and maybe we can make it out to some LGSs and, and get some games in. But anyways, um, if you're interested in taking a look at our shop and some of the cards and, and various sets that we have available, you can find us on uh, eBay, Pistol Pete's Collectible Trading Cards, with all underscores in between, of course. Um, but anyways, without further ado, let's get cracking. And uh, you know what? Hopefully you, some of you guys on here can share some of your uh, magical wisdom with the rest of us. Don't know which one we're going to get going for uh what we're gonna pack the what we're gonna crack first but um let's start with this one here in the bottom left lore hold and we'll set these guys to the top get them out of the way i know everybody likes to have some bit of sense of organization to this so i'll try to keep things pretty neat and organized as we go through this so pack number one lore hold let's see what we've got oh by the way we're gonna do a promotion um, anybody who comments below, if I happen to roll a dice, a number that gets called, we're going to give one of you anywhere from a five to $20 free card just for, uh, sitting through and suffering and watching through this video. Um, but of course you have to drop some sort of comment that's relevant to the pack here, Strixhaven. So share, share a tidbit of magical knowledge. And, uh, if you happen to be one of the lucky names drawn, what we'll do is in the next, uh, pack opening that we do, um, we'll give a shout out to whoever left comment on this pack opening. And we're actually going to use a computer generated, just kind of random number machine to, you know, between all the different people who've commented. And then we'll, we'll, we'll connect, you know, in from first comment to last comment a number. And whoever gets that lucky number drawn, uh, will win that card. So, uh, definitely come back and check out some more of our pack cracks after, you know, beyond this one. So, anyways. Let's roll the dice here before we get cracking. Lucky number seven. Nope, we got a 14. So nobody won anything here yet. That doesn't mean we got four more rolls in this pack crack. So let's see what happens. Doesn't mean somebody's not going to win something today. So first and foremost, a grand reveal here. You know what? I'm going to save these now for the end of the video. But we have an accomplished alchemist. Rare. And you can see in these new Strixhaven packs, they've got the uh, the year here. Is in a different fancier form than what it used to be. It used to be on the right in the bottom right here, um, but they've moved it now for 2021. So, oh, by the way, on that note, um, feel free to share your comments about what you think about the new art in the Mystical Archives. I know some people are not big fans of it. Some people are. Um, personally, you know, I got into this when I guess Core 2021 was coming out, and I actually really liked, you know, I've seen Magic all throughout high school and what have you, and I actually really like the cards, but seeing Core 2021 and those extended art cards, I really like that, and I know there's more sets, you guys are probably going to rip me apart there, there's more sets beyond just Core 2021, um, I don't think that was the first set that introduced the extended art, but, uh, um, and the full art cards, but anyways, I really like it, I think it's snazzy, I think they're getting with the times, and... You know, they've changed their cards over the years from, you know, uh, vintage to legacy. They had different designs. So anyways, here, theme packs. Every uh, one of these pre-release packs comes with five booster packs, regular draft booster packs, and one theme pack. And that theme pack is meant to match the particular um, college that you're cracking. So this one would be Lorehold's theme pack, of course. So you've got Lorehold Campus. Uh, and the Lorehold Pledge Mage. We're not going to go through all the commons and uncommons. I know you guys are really just after the rares here, the rare drops, so and the mythicals. So we got a Retriever Phoenix here for our first rare drop. 
couple of tokens. Let's shift these off to the side and make some more room here. Leave the tokens. Actually, we'll put the tokens down here so we can keep the rares and mythics side by side. And then we'll just put these commons down here. Let's see what we get from our first boost, draft booster crack here. Now, pay attention, folks, when you're going through this. I learned this the hard way. Sometimes you get a rare right at the start of these uncommons. So make sure you're keeping an eye out for those and not ripping through the packs too quickly. So for our first rare from the uh, draft packs, we got a Flame Scroll, Frame, bleh, Flame Scroll Celebrant. And on the back, Revel in Silence. And you'll know you can flip the car based on the symbol here in the top left. It'll tell you if you can flip the card over and you have uh, two different items there. And awesome, a Brainstorm. Classical card for those of you who've been playing for a while. I've got quite an extensive collection now, so I, know, I do know that Brainstorm uh, goes back many years. And I actually really like the art um, on this card now. So we'll keep the Mystical Archives here off to the side. And we got a Foil. That is Wormhole Serpent. Gosh, the resolution. Let's pop this in a little bit more and get the resolution a little better here. There we go. Wormhole Serpent for the first foil. We'll set these commons and uncommons off to the side. Move everything up a little bit for the improved resolution there. Sorry about that, you guys. We do have a uh, video stand coming to help improve the quality of these cracks. Anyway, second opening here. All right, and Necro Blossom Snarl. For the rare and eliminate for the mystical archive card. Actually, I'm going to keep the rare mystical archive separate from everything else too. And I'll just put these off to the. We'll keep those in the token pile. Stay put. Archmage Emeritus, and Stone Rain, another classic card, a rare. This one actually, I like this artwork, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm, I'm a fan of it. Um, I really like the new look of these cards, and they're, they're a lot snazzier than the extended art that we've seen in many other sets. I like that card, awesome. You know the old Stone Rain? How many years does that go back? Which I think that goes back to one of the original sets in Magic, but it's just a dude, or it's, is it? Yeah, it's a dude taking cover from a bunch of stones falling down, and it's not nearly as nice looking as this new card, this new artwork here. So props to the artist. Who was that? Justin and Justin and Alexis Hernandez. Sorry about that, guys. Awesome card though. Great artwork. Ingenious mastery for a rare, and Defiant Strike for an uncommon mystical. Archive. Last pack from the Lorehold set, or sorry, Lorehold College. Silver Quill Command, not a bad card. And Village Rights, again, another reprinted new art card. You know, Village Rites in Core 2021 was those three monks standing in a circle. Ooh, awesome, and we got a uh, Extended Art Whirlwind Denial Foil. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see the foiling there. Awesome. We'll stick that in there with the rest of the foil pile here. All right, next pack. What are we doing? The next college is Ch -ch -ch Quandrix. All right, lucky number 17, 19, close, but not close enough, sorry. All right, and let's see what we got here for cards. I'm going to save the promo card for last this time around, and let's get cracking on the theme deck here. 
So again, this is the Quandrix theme deck. You can see Quandrix Pledge Mage right off the hop. So these are all the cards specific to that college. I think, uh, you know, these packs, they come with instructions. Um, sorry, Manifestation Sage was the rare in that pack, theme pack. Um, as I was saying, so each of these colleges, the way you're supposed to play these pre-release packs is uh, you build 40 card decks. You add in your, um, I think they recommend like 8 to 12 creature cards and or 10 to 12 creature cards or something like that and like eight up to eight spells or something and then 17 lands math's probably a little off there but you get the point so what have we got here for quandrix strict proctor and another eliminate pack number two of five Ooh, what's going on there? That's atypical that card comes in upside down like that. Huh. Ooh, ecological appreciation. The first mythical crack here today, as well as an infuriate. I'll just mix the mythics. Actually, you know what? I'll stick those off to the side. We'll pull them back in range later. We got eliminate, and then we got another foil here. Whoop! The unwilling ingredient. Look at that art. This is a toad or something. Toad's gonna be the unwilling ingredient. All right, pack three. Now these, I should clarify, these booster packs are not college specific, or are they? No, lower hold Quandrix, so they're not. They're not college specific in, in the pre-release pack. It's just the theme deck that's college specific. Golden ratio and multiple choice for a rare with D Spark, another rare. And look at that art, by the way. I actually really I commented in another video. I actually really like this uh D Spark artwork. It's neat. It's almost like a play on kind of Egyptian. It reminds me of like the pyramids, you know, the kind of art you see in the pyramids. I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. Well, can anybody guess what card that is? Don't cheat. You might have seen the pre-release. Uh, it's a rare. Green rare. I don't know what it is. So far, no dupe extra rares here. We got Shale. I think it's Shale, Dean of Radiance. Correct me if I'm wrong on that pronunciation. And Adventurous Impulse. Again, just the artwork. It's awesome. I really like it. Good work, you guys. That was Matthew Hinnanen. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong when you see that video. Ambrose, Dean of Shadow for the rare. Again, I flipped the card already over so you got to see the other one. The other uh, Dean. Oh, sorry, guys. Really keep revealing those promo card. I'm going to have to be more cognizant of that here. Moving forward. Nope, no rare, no do extra rare. Elite Spellbinder and Infuriate. And we got another foil. Arcane Subtraction for the foil. All right, so that's all of it. Oh, wait, nope, that's not. Here we go. Kiane, Dean of Substance. We're on the back. Actually, I can't remember who's on the back for this one. But that was the promo card here. So we got Kiane and Accomplished Alchemist for the two promo cards so far. Again, I was talking to you guys about the deck. These are great little guides. Here's the here's your numbers: 15 to 18 creatures, 5 to 8 spells, 17 lands is the recommended pre-release deck building. Alright. We've got Wither Bloom. Let's see what we got here. All right, lucky number six. 16, not good enough. All right, and let's see what we got here. Move the pre-release card to the back again. 
get rid of the card divider and we're starting with the theme pack so will the bloom wither bloom theme pack I don't know, do you get Mythics in these theme packs? I haven't seen any yet in these theme packs. You know, comment below if you have gotten any and what did you get? Anything good? I don't know. Gnarled Professor, just a rare. Well, just. I mean, it's a rare. But not mythical rare. Alright. First pack from the Witherbloom pre release. Come on, Witherbloom, bring us some luck. Give us another mythic here. Mythic rare. Sparring Regimen. And Divine Gambit. Can't give enough compliments about the art. I mean, everybody, all the artists, you did a great job on these cards, I think. If I didn't give you a specific holler, you know, it's nothing personal. I'm trying to keep these videos, you know, not a documentary length format. So, hope you understand. Let's see what we got. No rare again, no extra rare. And we got a Verdant Mastery. And Whirlwind Denial. Man, these cards are real slippery. Anytime, they're always really slippery, but I find even more so maybe with this set. I don't know. The cards do feel a little bit, they feel nice. They feel a little bit different. Sorry, you probably saw that, but I'm going to pretend like you didn't. Let's see what we got here. Divide by zero. Interesting. Oh, and another Keane. Teen of Substance. And who's on the back with the claim, the firstborn? And who's on the back of that one? Imbraham, Dean of Theory. With a Verdant Mastery foil. Not bad. Not bad. Like any time I can get more than one rare in a pack, and that'll that'll be it right there. Alright, we got two more left. This pack, I, this set, sorry, I really like Strickhaven. I'm, I'm a bit of an academic myself, been a lifelong student, so to say. So I figured I'd really uh, just kind of have a, ooh, blot out the sky, a mythic. Um, figured I'd kind of be predisposed to liking this one. We'll set that up there. And we got another mythic. We got a Mind's Desire. Really neat artwork. Really neat. Set that. I confused these piles a little. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We'll put the mythics here. Drop that there. Oops. I think there's another mythic that we we cracked already, but we'll get back to it. Did you see my beautiful hairy arms there? Taking all your focus. Okay, one more pack left to go. My little guy seems to like it. My 10-month-old, he's just ripping all my hair out all over the place. Oh my gosh, painful. All right. No extra rares in these pre-release so far. Rushed Rebirth for the rare. Followed by yet another Eliminate and another foil. I'm getting a lot of foils though, so I can't complain about that. Eureka moment. Who, who reeks? You reek. All right. Um, Blade Historian is going to be the pre-release rare. The, they're dropping a lot of these Blade Historians in these pre-release packs. I've been noticing that. I think that's like my second one. And I've seen other folks on YouTube cracking those. So, dime a dozen it seems like. Whether they become a pretty... Important card down the road. I don't know. Prismari pre-release. I know Magic's talking about how they're they're planning on you know releasing a bunch of new cards in these sets this year, and then uh, you know adding other cards in future sets that'll increase their value. So we'll see if that's true. Lucky number twelve. 
Two. We keep getting one of the numbers in the in the number on column four, but not the number. All right, we're gonna hide that pre-release card there in the back. Let's get going here on the theme deck from Prismari. What's your favorite college if you've started playing this? I'm planning on putting a couple, de actually my wife, uh, little sisters in town, and I were planning on putting a couple decks together tonight and getting playing. So what's your favorite set? I might have to give it a whirl. See if I can beat them with it. For the rare, Efreet Flame Painter. And an extra token card, a treasure card. Nothing too snazzy in that pack. Pack number two. Come on, just give me a Demonic Tutor. Like, that looks like an awesome card. I've only ever seen it online, not in person. I'd love to see it in person. I think you guys would, too. Flunk, Axis Tunnel, Humiliate, and Accomplished Alchemist. Another Accomplished Alchemist for the rare. And Negate. Another card that's been around for a while. And then we got a Dina Soul Steeper for another foil here. Is she a Dina your college? <laughs> Poet's Quill, rare. And Thrill of Possibility, the Mystical, Magical, Magically Mystical Archive card. Ooh, we still got two more after this. Strixhaven Stadium. Very fitting for this game. And Teferi's Protection. Nice. Uh, I am happy with you, sir. I, I You know, I actually got all, almost all of the Teferi's when I did a Core 2021 Collector Pack cracks. Almost all of them. So this kind of just goes into that. I wonder how he... I haven't actually read the card, how it actually corresponds with... Until your next turn, your life total can't change and you gain protection from everything all permanents you control phase out that is huh huh zach i'm coming for you man one of these days i'm going to beat you finally zach is my teacher the guy who got me into this game in the first place one of these days i'm going to beat you man and it might be with that card okay maybe i don't know but i am going to win one of these games sooner or later Retriever Phoenix, rare and defiant strike. Another card that's been a while around for a while. I do like the artwork on that. And we got another foil, Mage Hunter's Onslaught. Oh, better flip that pre-release card over. Not to reveal the secret, I finally did it here. Whoa. Or promo card, I should say. All right, what do we got here? I didn't get any extra rares in this pack. Selfless, Glyph Weaver, or Deadly Vanity. And another Negate with, ooh, Retriever Phoenix Rare Foil. Very nice. Very nice. And bump, bump, bump. Tsh. Rushed Rebirth. The promo card. All right, last pack here. We have saved the best for last. Silver Quill. Let's see what happens here. Give me some magic. Give me some magic. Uh, and let's see what we roll. Lucky number nine. Eight. Eight. I know you see the nine there, but sorry, guys. It's not it. It's an eight. Whew. All right. We got put that pre-release promo at the back. 
And starting with the Silver Quill theme pack. Are all of these the same? Do all of the theme packs come with the same cards? Or are they different? And again, can you get a Mythic in these? I don't know. I haven't gotten one yet in one of these. Dramatic Finale. Sure looks dramatic. All right. Booster dra Draft Booster Pack 1. What do you guys think? Are you planning on getting the set boosters or the, sorry, the theme boosters or the draft boosters? What do you think? I've been hearing that, you know, they're supposed to be keeping the draft boosters on low supply. So they might actually be a good buy just for long term, you know, buy and hold. Um, as people get, um, you know, playing chaos drafts and what have you with their friends or doing draft parties. Might go up and demand. Shadrick's Silver Quill, a Mythic, an Elder Dragon, nice, and Shock, another classic card. I do like the artwork again. Good job, Dominic Mayer, or Meyer, I don't know, but nice. All right, we got three more left after this, and then the video's over, folks. We did get a Teferi's Protection, so that's pretty awesome. Wonder if we're going to get any other awesome uh, Mythic Rares in this crack. Archmage Emeritus and Divine Gambit. Yeah, in one of my pre-release pack reveals, I got a, a lot of extra rares in the uncommon section, but not in this one. Not a single one. Another sh Shale or Shale and a Cultivate. Classic card. I thought they overproduced that one in uh, Core 2021. You got Those were a dime a dozen in Core 2021, but it had been a while, my understanding, since the prior time that they had a Cultivate. Honestly, it's not bad, but I think I like the older cultivate card better i'm not the hand one but the the who's the mage or whatever that's in the middle with all the leaf one everywhere the foil looks pretty awesome for that one i liked it maybe i'm a little biased because core 2021 was my first real dive into magic like real dive dot like head first maybe even balls first dive i don't know if that's appropriate but i said it Fervent Mastery for the rare. And Jurass, another classic card. Jurass for the uncommon. And then we did get another rare foil. Dramatic Finale. Finale. Nice. Quite a few foil rares in this pack. In this crack. Pack, crack. Crack and pack. And... Alright, what do we got here? Strict Proctor for the rare and Tezzeret's Gambit, another rare. Nice. Oh, that's it, folks, for the packs. And then what did we get for the promo card was a semester's end. So that wraps up this semester of uh, Strixhaven School of Mages. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, if you would like to check out our inventory and, and what we've got all in stock for uh, cards, you can find us on eBay at Pistol Pete's Collectible Trading Cards with underscores in between. Anyways, have yourselves a wonderful weekend. Get outside, enjoy the weather, and then play Magic later tonight. Have a good one, everyone.